your name. It's breath. Take 11 over 10. <laughs> <laughs> From the first dialogue, the first sense I got out of it, this felt like longing. It's like you were dropped in the middle of somebody else's dream. It's like as a child where you give your hand to your dad and you let him walk you across the road. That's basically what you're doing for a director. So take my hand, ah, lead me anywhere. Best, best <laughs> way to put it. <laughs> That's pretty much And it. those that do it so well, you need to thank them. Now for the meat, as we usually say, your name. Yeah, I mean, this was your pick, so why don't you try and sell it for us? I don't even know how to sell it because <laughs> the only thing I can say is it's breathtaking. It's breathtaking. It's many things. It's, it's Visually. Oh, man. Amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. Was it an entirely... 11 over 10. <laughs> <laughs> it was glorious. It was an entirely different world, in my opinion. I, f- I felt like I was transported somewhere else. Mm. And it was like I was in that world. Mm. It's like I was standing in front of this very big screen. Mm. And then I was just watching everything unfold. From the storytelling yeah. to the visuals. The beauty of it all. The culture. I just... It drew you in, it filled all manner of things like it was, at the same time. It was so beautiful from the very first shot, the very first, the scene. very first thing. In fact, for me, it was black before <laughs> the thing the booster has to show. Oh hell no! From when it was, bro, from when it was black like this, like before visuals, mm-hmm. before the comets coming in. and it breaking from the first dialogue. Yeah. Oh my dialogue was just beautiful to listen it felt like it was like from the first dialogue the first sense i got out of it i was like this felt like longing mm. longing for something or someone yeah that is what i felt but then again i did not know the story mm. i've had you know i've had people tell me to watch your name mm. and then i was like i'm definitely gonna watch it and when I started watching it, like nobody ever, like nobody told me what it was what about. about yeah. it was love, romance. Was I don't think anybody could truly encapsulate what it was told, about. Nobody <laughs> told me what it was about. Just told me, what's your name? It's mm. really good. And I'm like, okay, I was going to watch it. Mm. And so when I started watching it, when I heard the first dialogue, you know, mm. I just felt it was like a tale of longing mm. for someone or something. But I did not know what it was. Mm. I didn't know what romance was love. Mm. It, it was like, like, the first dialogue started with you know the whole comets mm. it breaking and all of that and it was looking so beautiful it was just breathtaking you wouldn't even know that something terrible is <laughs> about to happen, happen. <laughs> <laughs> you, then the, the, the dialogue goes like every so often when i wake up in the morning i find myself crying and i can never remember the dream i must have had but the sensation that I've lost something lingers for a very long time after wow. I wake up. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I was already into it. Yeah. I was already into it. And then it started mm-hmm. with Mitsuha waking up and <laughs> is <laughs> like oh, this is this is strange. I was I was like your own body, what's going on? Why is going all of that? You didn't you know? know what was happening. <laughs> and then they go on mm-hmm. like this. And the whole day goes on Mitsuha saying, you know, his friends were like, Oh, the way you were acting yesterday was weird. Weird and stuff. I still doesn't I still don't know what was going on. I just kept watching it. It's like you were dropped in the middle of somebody else's dream. It felt so it felt so casual. Mm. It wasn't feeling forced mm. or anything. It just felt so casual. So I did not really understand what was going on. Mm. I was like, okay, let's keep going. The basics the basis of actually watching anything is just for you to discover. And be, your curiosity will just lead you. And I just kept watching it. So anyways, just quick, quick, you know, context. Yes, I want <laughs> to see you do this. I want to see you do this. Let's go. Quick because con- the synopsis on IMDb sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. For quick context, mm. this is a story, like I said, mm-hmm. about longing mm-hmm. for something or someone. Mm-hmm. It starts with Mitsuha and it starts with the story of Mitsuha and Taki and this has to be one of the best movies anime show of switching bodies i've ever seen mm. mitsuha wakes up taki wakes up mm. and they are two entirely different people mm-hmm. 
the switch the switch bodies. With each other, Mits, yeah. Mitsuha, which is who is a girl, mm. switches bodies with Taki, mm. who's in Tokyo. Yeah. She's in Itomori. Mm. Then Taki becomes Mitsuha for the day. Mm. And they don't even know why it's happening. And it keeps going on and going on. At first it feels very intrusive. Like mm. like how how can you even and the craziest part of it all is how can you even form some sort of bond and love? Over o- over that kind of intrusion. Yeah. But somehow it happens. Yeah. It's so beautiful mm-hmm. how it actually plays out and how it actually happens. Mm-hmm. At first, like I said, it felt intrusive, but in in the essence of it and how when it kept going on, somehow mm-hmm. they found a way to live with each other, understand each other's self mm-hmm. and being. Yeah. And they actually started helping themselves. Helping themselves. Over. Found ways to actually leave notes so mm. they can understand what's going on. Because anytime they wake up, they seem to have forgotten what happened mm. and they've forgotten their names. Their memories fade. Yeah. And she, it fades. Oh, <laughs> this is so it so important. It's like a dream. It's a dream. Yeah. You you get. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like whenever you wake up after having a dream, like you you remember. Let's say it happens to remember it, but then it kind of like slowly slowly. All the details get overwritten with what's happening in your present reality, and then it's all gone. But for them, it's instant. It's instant. Like I love it so much. Mm. Like, see this, this, um, this movie is like it's not only aesthetically pleasing to Mm -hmm. the eye, to the brain. To and the to the mind yeah. oh, you did not feel some things popping up in your Man, brain I f- I, this is the second time I've seen this movie and I felt I think I even felt it more than the first time I watched it I felt my brain was my brain was doing some happy dance because yeah. the visuals was just stunning I've never seen the comments but I really do hope they look that way <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't see one though because <laughs> that shit scared me it was it was just stunning mm-hmm. like the story is bold yeah like it's it's never really easy to talk you know, to do time travel in a way where, you know, it leads to this kind of reveal because it was mm-hmm. a reveal for me at the end. You know, I called you in the middle of it because yeah. I was confused. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 crazy. Who uses time travel as a medium to tell a romance story? Time travel as a supernatural voodoo, people swapping <laughs> bodies. It's like, it's something you wouldn't, well, it's something that I had not seen till this. Apparently, there are movies. That yeah, there are other movies, movies like that. Yeah you, yeah, you shared me. You shared some. some yeah. you, there was even the other sort of face swaps. Face swaps and stuff like <laughs> yeah, that. So anyways, mm. like, it's bold, mind-blowing, perfectly executed. I think it was a world-old story in the beautiful visuals. It's aesthetically pleasing. Like, everything about it was just mm. chef's kiss. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed every bit of it. Mm. And I, just, I don't know if I've if I've so so did. Yeah, just, I'm sure you have. <laughs> just me talking about how I felt watching it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm very sure people feel other type of ways. I don't know. It depends, I guess. Definitely. I mean, uh, let's let's talk about the director as well. So, as Chris said. Makoto Shinkai. This is the world of Makoto Shinkai. And he's... And I am going to explore more. Explore more. I am. <laughs> so we've seen The Garden of Garden Words of by Words, him. Yeah. And we've seen Your Name recently. He has like a couple of the movies. Most notably something recent. Susume. I'm waiting. To, mm-hmm. I'm waiting. To, I have to see that in the cinema. I haven't had time yet. But I'm mm-hmm. definitely going to see that soon. Yeah. So, I wonder if it's going to trump Your Name. Like, I've not really like checked the reviews. But from what I've seen. Mm-hmm. Like you know glanced mm. seen that i think it's good as well it's good as well yeah, yeah. i want to see what like unique <laughs> unique way he's got a unique approach he's going to take to telling the romance story i love yeah because mm, i think wed room with you as well is kind of have unique. you seen that one i haven't seen it yet i'm yeah. going to see that one too <laughs> you say man i definitely will maybe tonight in fact i don't know <laughs> it just gives me this i like when directors filmmakers are very distinct with their style. Yeah. His style is just something to behold. You can tell. It's like, that's Marcus and Shinkai. Do you get? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just something to behold and I love it so much. What would you say is like, what would you say specifically makes his style so different from everything else? That's the thing. Mm. You just have to see it to know. Mm-hmm. It's, um, it's about the story aspect or just like the visuals. So I think most of his stories from the ver- very few I have seen, mm. they have they kind of bother around, you know, feeling of, you know, romance, companionship, mm. love, mm. In something that there are two people who really want to be together, but something is 
you know, taking them apart or yeah. not making them actually connect or contact at that moment. Something it can be it's not supposed to happen. Mm. It might be time. Yeah, you know, it can just stories, it can yeah. just be anything. Mm. You get I think that's what most of his stories mm. are all about. I haven't seen the rest of them yet, so I can't really say. Yeah. But these ones I've the, the two I've seen mm. you get this was this was time mm. for them. The other the other one was you know, it's not just gonna happen. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just something stopping them from actually being, you know, I love it. And then again, the visuals. The visuals, man. That is just one of that thing that's just what's an studio? icing on the cake. I didn't check this, but like, what studio animated your name? An icing, an icing on the cake. Yeah. I love it so much. It just reminds me of Wes Anderson. His distinct <laughs> style, play of colors, and yeah, the the acting as well, the mm. stories as well. Wes Anderson just does it beautifully well, mm. and that is what that's what I'm just trying to say here. I I just I love how people just tend to give you this whole entire world mm. for you to be in, to feel, to get lost in. Mm-hmm. It's just I think that's the essence of it all. The essence of watching movies, being yeah. just get lost in the world it's for some crazy, time, right? gets detached from the world. Mm-hmm. Love it's it. crazy. It's like it's like as a child when you give your hand to your dad and you let him walk you across the road. That's basically what you're doing. Like for a director, it's like take my hand, ah, lead me anywhere. Best best <laughs> way to put it. <laughs> that's pretty much. And it. those that do it so well, you need to thank them because mm-hmm. it's to. not easy. Mm. I don't know how people see it though, but when you actually watch a movie, you see some something. It feels like you're transported somewhere else. When someone can actually give you that feeling of being transported to a different world entirely, a different story, even if it's just for a very short period of time, mm. a brief period, one hour, two hours, a whole season, a full day, six minutes, <laughs> whatever, whatever it is, yeah. you should be glad you are mm. able to experience it. Thank the person. Because, you know, thank you, Makoto Shimka. Thank mm. you, Wes Anderson. Thank you, all of you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Chris Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. Yeah. You know, even J.K. Rowling, I love the Harry Potter, the Wizardry world and everything. Mm. So it's all of those things for me. And mm. I really enjoyed I really enjoyed watching your name. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. What, what I find, other than his storytelling style, because just like you said, it's all about romance, relationships, companionship, and the the thing in between that's tried to separate both sides from joining uh to the animation is crazy so i feel i'm not sure if this is the same studio that animated the garden of words but i feel it might be yeah um comics wave films yeah the animation style is so distinct so we saw in uh your name the way the comet splits from the nucleus right it divided and that was so it, it i feel if we actually saw a comet split that's the way it looks and the way it came in. So in the first scene, when the comet split and then it was coming down, there was this change in POV. It kind of looked like it was you falling from the sky. <laughs> and it's it came through the clouds and I was like, oh my God. There's also a moment like that in the Garden of Words when it was raining towards, I think it was their second or third encounter. They showed rain hitting the bricks on the floor. And I was like, no, why? <laughs> not, even, not even only that. They make food in the anime feel like food. You feel tempted to go eat it. You see the cutting, the the chopping, when he was sketching on his notes. Yeah. All of those little things just make it realistic and just completes the whole thing, man. That it's epic, but that's another distinctive thing I'd say. Yeah. Uh so he wrote this movie. He he actually directed and wrote this movie, him and Clark Cheng. I don't know him, but he's also kudos like epic stuff. But yeah, fun fact: um, this is the first anime film not made by Studio Ghibli or Hayao Miyazaki to gross ten billion yen at the Japanese box office, which is about money. ninety-eight million US dollars. That's crazy, bro. That's a movie gross, man. <laughs> as a as a movie gross. It was also the second highest grossing anime film before being surpassed by Demon Slayer, Mugen Train, uh, 2020, four years later. I haven't seen the new episodes yet. Nah, neither have I. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. 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 I'm wai
the final starts via box office is 382 million dollars for an anime movie that's impressive uh, mind-blowing freaking impressive i love that hayao miyazaki uh, like i was telling you earlier he directed spirited away princess Mononoke, howling smooth how house moving castle and stuff like that so it's epic uh we've spoken about the director our style and that leads me to another fun fact Japanese band Rad Wimps. I mean, I'm sure you like you're going to talk about the music, <laughs> the way it complements the, the story. The music just tells more of the story. Yeah, without it, at I that feel scene, something at missing. that moment, yeah. when it starts to play the soundtrack, yeah. like any anytime it just starts to play like this, mm. it just complements, and you obviously you're reading the sub. Yeah. <laughs> you're reading the you're reading yeah. what because as this, that the sub is just ongoing there for the move for the the song at that moment and you're reading it and you're just like it's telling more of a story mm. yeah, i loved it they walk hand in hand man in tandem the, the fun fact is japanese band rad with uh, rad wimps walked closely with the director of Akito shinkai on the scripts and story wow. to create complementary music the process of them walking that's together why. led to the initial script that's changes. That's why. <laughs> that's why. That's why it feels so tandem. So, like, so you know, as I said before, like the Garden of Words, it felt like the story was supporting the music. I feel that's why. That's why this is different. It's there's no support in the, like there's a support and obvious support, but it's symbiotic. It's mutual, like you said, tandem, and that's it. for you for your music for your music to be able to change the initial scripts. That means it was fundamental to the success. Like, it was freaking fundamental. See man. how important music is to everything. It's going to change everything, man. That vote of that vote that was meme. That was trending. <laughs> Hell no, man. Hell no. That's everything. So, we have a movie about to come out that appears once every 1,200 yes. years. I think the first one happened before. It's why... Tomori is what it's Tomori is that way. I think uh, the creator of the water name? and everything. What's his name? The guy Thank with Tessie, t- the guy with Tessie mentioned it, right? Yeah, yeah. So it happened a long water. time ago then, but I think maybe it wasn't inhabited then, mm. so it wasn't really home. So that's how it actually did come, you know, to be. So then it's not happening again, but this time it's it has <laughs> you know, mm. it's dangerous and all that, yeah. So I have a cover, it's 1200 years old, comes every once during that time period. It's about to break and land on Itomori, but we have Taki and uh, Mitsuha switching bodies across different timelines, which is amazing. Very they switch key. bodies. Whenever they wake up, it fades away, and they kind of do a memento thing where they have to write down what's going on. They have to prepare reports about what's happening in the other person's lives when they are within their body. So, and yeah. It's epic. It's freaking epic. Um, question. Did this movie make you question how vivid your dreams are? <laughs> it did. It did. Sometimes, yeah. I, I I don't know if you've thought about it that way. Sometimes I'm, I'm when I'm when I'm when I think about dreams, mm. it's, I feel maybe I was just somewhere else mm. at some point in time. Yeah. And there are some dreams that feel so real that when you wake up, you're like t- some. If the dream is really good, you're like, oh, why did mm. I wake up? If it was terrible, it was really you know gut wrenching. You, you just wake up and you're like, thank God. Yeah. That was a dream. Yeah. You know, some uh, it actually just made me feel some of these dreams, how it can just be something else. But, you know. But you actually <laughs> believe in somebody else's life. And so Yeah, you, exactly. Yeah. But you just don't know. And <laughs> your name just made it yeah. <laughs> feel that way. Mm-hmm. So. I think uh, that's something else they were trying to build on in uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once, right? Your dreams are the life paths, yeah. Uh, why I asked the question because I have the same feeling too. It's like, what's going on? <laughs> this movie is trying to tell me something, but I don't want to like really, really tap into it. Well, I guess I might do some research. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, let's hop into some rewatchable scenes. As we've mentioned, the opening scene is extremely rewatchable. I don't know how you would even say they are rewatchable scenes in this animation when the entire movie animation is rewatchable like I, just, <laughs> I had to pick out I had to pick yeah, out it so it but yeah obviously there are some scenes that were really mm-hmm. beautiful to see but that first scene is such a way to open the movie because I don't know if you really actually noticed that first scene the POV switch I actually felt if I was watching it in 3D I might have fallen off my seat <laughs> because the way it changed just oh, they, should re- they should re-release it in mm-hmm. 3D for in 3D. us yeah 
Definitely. But for this, for <laughs> the would be good. <laughs> for the would be nice. Yeah, right. for the X. Uh, another rewatchable scene was the first scene of the body swap. You mentioned that as well. When Taki woke up and I was like, uh, every uh, single time she does it. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, Mitsuha's sister would be like, <laughs> then there was a scene where she was like, my sister has finally gone crazy. She has gone crazy. <laughs> I'm going to school alone. Because he was happy. That was that was when Taki got back into Mitsuha again. Yeah. He was so happy that, you know, he was able to. And he was great. He was just, oh, my he sister. Was, he was crying, <laughs> pressing boom. Yeah, she, was, she lost the door. She ran away. My yeah. sister has finally lost it. She's gone. She's crazy. <laughs> you yeah, know, that, that was, was, that was beautiful to see. Yeah. Uh, another what you was seeing is, I'm single because I want to be. When two of them said it at the same time, <laughs> which I was trying to hook him up, I love that scene. Um, another one was finding out the cave was real. Yeah, I don't know. It came to him. It was mm. all this moment of three so years. I was just like, oh, mm. I remember this. Mm. And that just what changed everything. Yeah. It's crazy how him doing that changed the timeline mm. for Mitsuha. Mm. And it was very important. Very, very much. I don't know if you noticed. Anytime they passed each other, there was this chime, the bell chime. Yeah. Did you notice mm, it? Yeah. Except the time where, you know, the future, the present, mm. when they were on the staircase. Yeah. When they passed, that, that chime wasn't there. Wasn't I was there. expecting to hear it, but I did not hear it. Mm. I don't know why. There's no twilight. That's why. It's no twilight. There's no half and half. I don't know if there was something. It was, it was a real thing. It was, it was a real. They were there together yeah. in the same moment. So so it wasn't no an event tied. Yeah. You know, there was, this, their teacher was explaining those things. Twilight, twilight half event day. tides, and all of those yeah. things. Mm. Ah, ah, ah. Makes that's sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a good one to call out. I feel that if you wanted to give twilight to sound, that's the way it sounds. That's right. It's beautiful. Yeah. Everywhere. Uh, another rewatchable scene was when he drank her. <laughs> <laughs> he drank the sake. The way, like his mind just sets up his eyes, see the uh, oh, that pathways. was that was exactly yeah. he pretty much saw her whole life. Yeah, it was like he, like he brought her back to life in mm. in the sense. Mm. Did you know that it was kind of like from the beginning, from her heartbeat. Yeah to when she was born mm. to you know her mom her father so when she even dropped on the earth they showed her like a comet <laughs> <laughs> yeah for real they just showed her dropping down then there was yeah. a red string and everything mm. it was something the her grandma Mitsuha's grandmom said then was what she said about Misubi, yeah, Misubi. about being the flow of time mm. Mitsubi pretty much can be anything anything it was so beautiful yeah. <laughs> it was just it sounded like the rambles of an old woman, but the more she spoke, I was like, this makes sense. Is that is that one word that could mean anything, you know? You know, when when she was speaking, just like you said, when she was saying the rambles mm. of, do you know what I was thinking about with my head was this Naruto theme song. Yeah, yeah. But very slow. Because they're walking and she was carrying her, she was carrying her on, you know, it was actually Taki that was listening to all of this thing that she was saying, which is very, very important. Because yeah. that was the reason why he actually had this thought back to go, you know, if this had happened when it was actually Mitsuha, this whole thing would have just ended in a very terrible way. Yeah, very sad. So I was like, just having the feeling of the Naruto... I was just having the feeling of the Naruto um, soundtrack. soundtrack just playing. That just that. Mm. So it was very slow. It just felt so. I don't know. I don't know why it came to my mind at yeah. that moment, but that's how I felt. Man, it's I the felt. movie, man. It's doing things to you, man. Yeah. Do you have any rewatchable scenes on your side? Uh, I think that scene. Hmm. Um, mostly, you know, where she, as Mitsuha and her friends, hmm. were watching the comment just before it landed oh, man. <laughs> it felt it was a happy thing seeing mm. it mm. and then there was a point where she realized that this is this is gonna kill all of us yeah that was that was sad yeah but still it was I, important for the story it was and i think immediately that thing happened there was a timeline leading up to that point mm. they didn't really know what was going on that's mitsuha and taki obviously mm. there's no way you would know but immediately that thing happened the switch stopped mm. it did which was yeah, sad. Then. And that was the moment where Taki felt he needed to find her. Mm. And mm. that was where he realized mm. that this not happened three 
years ago and he remembered he saw this on the news he saw it on the news where it skipped his mind for some reason was, right? you know oh tragic mm. something tragic um tragic happened here and you know mm. but then he remembered that yeah they actually did see this on the news and this happened and then it started to make sense because mm. i was confused before i got to that point i was like she actually did go see him three years ago mm-hmm. but at that moment he had not started having the dreams he had yeah. not started seeing her yeah <laughs> you were so confused by that. Someone was like, at the, it pretty much like she was in the future and he was in the past. Yeah. Do you get? But then again, he was now at some point the one in the future mm-hmm. and she was in the past. Mm-hmm. And then they had... When he was now in the future and he realized that he could say he, he it was just that last piece of hope, that mm-hmm. last piece of hope, mm-hmm. he just hung on to it and somehow he tried it because he's obviously an, uh, an optimistic person because some people would not even just, like, it's ended there. He has seen his damage and everything, so he just feels that he would have actually felt he was going crazy. Yeah. The, the He did, man. Like, I actually felt that way for him. Did you get? Yeah. I, I was like... It wiped before his eyes. Just... It was as if... Evaporated. Someone, you know, when some... There was some... Uh, like, if someone points something out about a person or a thing mm. to you, that's when it starts becoming very obvious. Yeah. Someone points out that this person choose choose food in a certain type of way. Mm. You don't see it till you see it. Mm-hmm. It now becomes very obvious. Mm. You now start noticing it. Do you get? Mm. So that's how it. <laughs> that's how <laughs> I was. Him, yeah. He was just as if they just told him, "Bro, you are going crazy, man." He that started was, trying to convince himself that maybe I'm delusional. Yeah, but a person who somehow believes so much in what he has in his mind like mm. he has his resolve mm. he knew somehow that something somewhere is real yeah he had I mean, he had the momentum from her right the the head but he doesn't even know where, it came where from, you going from it's like height. someone gave it to me yeah, yeah oh man this movie was solid i felt bad for him i felt i was in the situation if i forget her name it's over <laughs> Like, there's no hope again. I don't know, man. It's, then, it's crazy. I think ways I just remember another rewatchable scene was when he had taken, when he had gotten back up from the cave and he was walking, mm. like, on the crater. And then she was walking because she was coming from her own time because he had already, he had brought her back to life, let me say. Yeah. He had, you know, revived her on the other side. And she was coming and they did meet and then they vent her at the twilight. Yeah. And they actually could see themselves and yeah. they're talking and then he was about to write name pen drops and the pen drops he had already written he didn't write his name he just wrote i love you <laughs> that, that shit was heartbreaking he was like i need to remember her name let me tell her me tell her, me tell her. what's her name I was like ah my chest yeah Stop it. every single time they forget yeah it's crazy man ah then they saw themselves it's... it was beautiful man they saw themselves beautiful. on the train mm. you know and as then, a passive boy i love i love everything about that Mm-hmm. And then he like the end of the um the end of the anime was just beautiful. You'd see them going through life now. Mm. You'd seen that um what they did that day saved a lot of lives. So it was not even just for them. Lives, yeah. Stein, it was yeah. not just only for them. It saved other people's people's lives uh, people's lives as well. And that was really good. Mm. And then they did see each other at the train and for some reason they they are not seeing themselves running mm. to at least catch up with the other That's person. Right. They just had to somehow. They had like I don't know. Maybe it's intuition. Maybe it's the universe conspiring or something. It's just something in your head telling you this that is force. You be. That that thing just pulls you. It's just sort of like a magnet. Mm. You know, you 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 involuntarily voluntarily <laughs> somehow go for, it, yeah. go for it. and that was what happened. She did. She did do her own running because we're like, if if the trains are stopping at this point, this is where they're probably going to meet up and everything. Yeah. He did the same thing. Did the calculation instead. She did the same thing. They were both running, trying to make sure that they meet themselves at that point. And I was expecting, like I told you, that's, you know, that twilight chime, sound, yeah. chime sound. Yeah. But that did not happen. Because mm. maybe at that moment, because it was so real. It was so real. It, it was real. And that was like the realest part of this <laughs> entire movie. Or oh, the event was one, we can say. The event was equal to one, yeah. Exactly. Mm. So, it's now still also borders on your resolve. Mm. And if you're brave enough, 
because he could have just kept on walking in as much as his mind kept I telling him like, to say if you yes, don't turn back say her name <laughs> or just say hi or yeah. hello or something because mm. it felt like she wasn't going to do it yeah she it was felt like she wasn't going to do it walk and she was, i think she was waiting for him to mm. and then he just goes by met before yeah i mean you can actually see like the difference between their personalities like right from the job oh He's yeah old, especially <laughs> when they is. met in tokyo especially when you know when you said when they keep splitting mm. um switching or swapping bodies yeah. the time um mitsuha i don't even when taki is in mitsuha taki uh, mitsuha becomes very popular in school yeah. she becomes yeah. very popular. she's a g she doesn't take rubbish and when Taki is Mitsuha in his own body. She he becomes like the nice, cute guy, feminine, feminine side, feminine side, and everything. Everybody yeah. just gets to see that. Yeah, it's so different, man. It's, Taki it's is the way they the have both. This is so intimate, so deep. It's the way they have both been entwined in their lives mm. in such a way that they felt and they know every single bit and mm. every single thing. It's so crazy. You spend enough time with someone, you end up falling in love, man. You you <laughs> become you become that person. Yeah. Basically. You become that person. You start doing things like that person mm. and it's just beautiful to, to watch. I, I was really impressed with how this anime made me feel because yeah. going in, I did not even know what to expect and mm. that was the most beautiful part of it all. Mm. This is one of those things that you'd be like, I wish I didn't even see it. That like, I want. I want to see it again You'll for the first again, time. Yeah. For the first time. That, that's the word. Mm. I want to see it for the first time. I was glad I saw it for the first time yesterday, but I don't know if I can see the game for the first time. Nah, you can't. But, <laughs> but it's I still just see it again. Re-watch. Maybe I'll just find a way to always do it in a different perspective, mm. in a different screen, in a different, you know, time, environment, environment <laughs> anything. Yeah. With a different person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or just with someone else, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we have this everyone. beautiful. So this movie see. was entirely quotable, but I have those two quotes exactly. that entirely I love. Quotable. I feel entirely. like everything was the way saying was just... Give me a pen and paper. <laughs> <laughs> like, certified, certified. <laughs> but I have these two quotes, one from the grandma, treasure the experience, dreams fade away after you wake up. That was like, hard hitting like and it could it just doesn't apply to your dreams it applies to things you do as well just enjoy the journey then mitsuha as well there's no way we could meet but one thing is certain if we see each other we'll know that you had one inside me oh, and that, that was the one yeah. that was inside you Let's and see. that was it we didn't yeah the way they said it it was like uh mm. but i know one thing for sure mm. if we see each other will know at first sight mm. that you were the one who was within me mm. and I was the one who was within you. Yeah. Slaps, man. They bring in slaps. Like, steal the movie for me, man. Give them an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> that was just, that was just oh, Crazy, plain, man. plain Absolutely. amazing. Uh, another fun fact. The restaurant where Taki works is called Il Giano delle Parole. Which is Italian for the Garden of Words. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Cool, Crazy, right? Cool detail. Cool. Love like that detail. Just drop that Easter egg in there. Love that detail. I have like a deep question that I might extend this episode for like just a few minutes, but okay. with the way the world has changed with like stuff like the Me Too era, just the world going soft in some type of way, and our differences kind of showing more and more. You think in this movie, came out today it should just be as impactful as when it came out in 2016 i realized we watched it recently and i think you have my answer already yeah right based on based on how i'm feeling watching it now yeah compared to 2016 Mm. i think anybody that watches it now for the first time Mm. would love it Mm. and i feel people that already have a deep culture in anime Mm. and already who already know about japanese culture and all of that Mm. would feel more compared to people that just, just watching it like a normal who yeah. just feel probably just not an anime a cartoon just watching a cartoon <laughs> that's yeah. in a different language yeah. you get mm. so I think it still have the same impact mm. especially for us mm. and our age bracket I don't know yeah. that's what I think why I ask is because the director himself Mark the Shinkai said in November 2022 that if he tried to make this film post the Me Too world mm. Hashtag me too. One of the film's most memorable scenes would have been judged as unacceptable by the audiences of today. 
how he explained i will have been rejected i will have rejected the joke where taki robs mr has breasts every time he wakes up exactly after. it was sort of like a dream and the scene was set up in such a way that there was no problem because it was her own body to begin with but the audience today would have judged it as unacceptable exactly and i agree exactly yeah that makes that makes that makes that's a point mm, that's a, that's a point, point. Mm. but then again anybody that would just saying you wake up in the woman's body <laughs> might be the first you <laughs> want to check i mean at first they just they thought it was a dream so it's like oh this is so this is ultra realistic this feels good so it, like, let's play it pass you know at the end of the day it's just a medium for telling story i don't see a big deal in it but i'm sure people because funny how this happened recently so there's this other anime mushoku tensei i mean this group chat and this dude was like, he can't keep watching the anime because every time he sees the main character, all he sees is a pervert. And I'm like, yeah, he's a pervert, but it's so weird because it's like, they call it Isekai. He's an old guy in a young boy's body. And he's taking his old guy tendencies into this young boy's body and it makes it feel bad. But I'm like, that's no excuse to not watch the show. You know? I mean, the show is so beautiful, no, man. You need to check it out. I think most of... When any anybody says things like this, you know, regarding a movie, regarding a character, mm. I feel it's valid for them. It's valid, yeah. Do you understand? Because mm. I think it's how they see the world and how they see some certain things. There are some certain things that some people cannot just overlook. Mm, definitely. Yeah. When saying that, you could think that in Naruto, Jiraiya, <laughs> so pervy sage, <laughs> he gets. Yeah. He was. He was all of that. Mm. You know. But then again, Jiraiya. Is one of the most amazing and iconic characters in Naruto. Yeah. Like, take away all of that nonsense. Mm. He's just legendary. Mm. That's just it. Yeah. So, I think sometimes, in as much as we tend to relate with movies and shows and, you know, animes, mm. we should try as much as possible not to... We should try as much as possible to just detach. Yeah, detach. I mean, suspend belief, right? Do you get? Mm -hmm. And just live in that world mm -hmm. for that moment. Yeah. The world is real. Mm -hmm. We are in it. Yeah. Movies, animes, music yeah. should be an escape for you. Just an escape. That's it. Don't... Because you have your real... <laughs> you yeah, have your real life is life in, you know? <laughs> yeah. It should be an escape for you. You should use it to escape. Use it to just, you know, mm. fantasize about this world fantasize yeah. about all of those things you know just let it be what it is yeah those there are some there are some that should just be unacceptable because mm. this is normal stuff mm. but when it's just a medium to tell a joke when it's not trying to hurt anybody whatsoever mm. when you and, and this is something that you can easily see mm. you can see something that's from the beginning is going to be disruptive and it's not supposed to be yeah you get when you see things like that totally you shouldn't even stress do not watch it mm. you get but there are some that are very very soft in the core they are not really deep yeah. to that they just passive jokes hmm. just passive just adding just adding to the story hmm. so if I'm, I'm saying this I don't know about every other guy but if you're a guy you wake up in a woman's body hmm. and the first it's possible that, that might be the first time <laughs> come on it's possible I mean. I'm just saying I don't know hmm. I'm not, it has not happened to me hmm. it's not going to happen to me but then yeah. you know hmm. It's just you at first having to try to understand what's going on and why you are in this. Like get a grasp of the situation, get a hold of the situation. But um, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, every, it's a valid, valid opinion. But I would not watch a movie because of something that because I find it, find it passing. It's just yeah. it's not even a core sentiment of the movie. It's not a core argument. But yeah, um, do you have anything else to say? With, um, no, I think that's it for me. Yeah, and I'm going to say watch. Your name. What Watch you Makoto Shinkai. <laughs> An eleven over ten, honestly. Like just go for it. Go for it absolutely. Uh, on that note, I'd like to end by with this review by Johnny Bianchino. Forget Disney. We have movies like your name. <laughs> that is it. That's it. That's beautiful. But then again, Disney is part of our childhood. You can't forget it. Nah, man. Forget today's Disney. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll still give them a shot. I mean, yeah, yeah. They have they have a long standing for a reason. You know? Yeah. But yeah, um, that's it for me. Yeah, same. Same, same, right? It's been a good it's been a good one. I really loved talking about um your name. Yeah. It just beautiful honestly right you need to check out Wedroo with you and the rest of them yeah definitely the definitely would this week 
mm. probably one every day because there are more mm. probably one every day i just want to be in that world for that period and i'm going to enjoy it i agree man I'm going i to agree. enjoy it i agree yep so that's as if for today that's it on to the, for today's episode of Puffcon. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. Um, if so, hit the subscribe button for us. That will really help us over here. We're trying to get to 1K very soon. Uh, you might also enjoy our weekly recap. You can find that right here. And if you want to start a conversation with us, leave a comment here in the comment section or you can leave a comment on our Instagram at pov.corn. That is pov. That's pov.con. And that's it for us. Thanks for tuning and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Peace.